Hello everybody, my name is Bragster and welcome back to my journey into journalism. Uh, the, uh, I didn't have a name for it when I first recorded it, um, but now I do, so I'm, I'm happy to have a name for it. Um, but in today's episode we are going to finish Unit 1. So last time we covered um, the alphabet and stuff like that. Uh, now, now we're going to cover um, the common words represented by letters to the alphabet. So, we that's the next bit I'm going to cover, and then just joining letters, which is kind of like a bridge between Unit One and Unit Two. It very much looks like a bridge between the two, um, but this one was reasonably difficult to wrap my head around. So. Um, but once I got the hang of it, I was fine. Um, so, obviously, your letters... So, you'd like, A to A and stuff like that. But the symbol for A can also represent other things. So, the symbol for A represents able, able to, ability, and after. Um, which is, you know, you've got to remember those off by heart. You, you've just got to. Um, so, the letter G, go and gentleman... Uh, but you've got to come up with tricks. That's what I realised. So initially, you write them down and you, you say as the let uh, you say what like you did with the letters: able, 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 able. Then for do, 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 do for the D symbol and stuff. And you just do that over and over and over and over again uh, until you run out of page. Um, to the margins that you've made. If you haven't made margins, make margins because. You can put little comments in there, and it's quite nice. Um, and you can put corrections in there. I don't put corrections in there, because I'm an idiot. But you can do, and that's what the book tells you to do. And I quite like having margins. Um, so, yeah, you just go across, do that, and then you test yourself. Um, so, in the book, exercise 1.4, um, if I show you what it is. Uh, exercise 1.4, they give you a bunch of symbols, right? And then you've got to correlate the words to it. Um, so that's what I did. Uh, as you can see here. I got a few wrong. Um, I got after, gentleman, local, ever and every wrong. Um, and at that stage I was a bit like... I wasn't too confident. I was a bit, you know... I was like, you know, I've tested myself. I didn't do as well as I probably should have done. Uh, so I did it again. I drilled it. Um, and what I did is I randomly, like I did with the letters, randomly put in order uh, the different words. Um, and yeah, and I, I got every single one right. I was very surprised about that, but I got every single one right. Um, this is what I've learned. Don't learn patterns, right? So you've got able, able to, ability, after. All got the same symbol, right? Now, as you're writing it out initially and copying it you're gonna learn that uh, able able to ability and after are the same symbols right you're gonna learn they're the same symbols which means you're gonna learn those four together which is fine but imagine if you saw a group right you'd have to sit there and go you know i know i went quiet then but you're gonna be you know, mumbling to yourself all the different words it correlates to, or you're going to remember them in a certain order. So when you're trying to quickly do it, you're going to be like able, able to, ability, and after. So if you learn it in that order and only ever learn it in that pattern, if you're thinking, oh, that symbol represents something, and you have to wait a while till you get to after, then you're going to lose time. You, you are. You're not going to be that quick. So to be quicker, you've got to learn them separately. So that's what I did. I wrote them out all separately in a random order. I used a random generator type thing, uh, which isn't the most useful thing. The better use is to get someone else to do it. If you, But uh, I couldn't because my dad wasn't available at the time, um, who, I was, who was in the house when I was doing this. So I just used a random generator random word generator you can find them on the internet it's quick and easy to use does it is it long-winded does it take a while yes but are the rewards there yes because 
after that, I knew I got it. I knew it was in my head. It was in my head by then. I, I understood it. I got it. And that was huge for me. I needed to get it. Um, because for me, it's one of those, you know, if I'm getting loads wrong, I'm not going to move on. I got all of them right. So at that point, I'm like, I can move on. Um, so then I went, right. So the first the book gets you to learn A to M. Now I was learning N to Y. Um, Z doesn't have one, unfortunately. So sorry about that. Um, but yeah, so then you've got um, and begin, began, begun, uh, page, pence, police, um, evidence and evident. Um, some of these are weird. Like the first lot were, I don't, not many were different to the letters. Probably the only one that was different to the letters was at and at and then England because it had the two dashes underneath which represent a capital letter. Um, but everything else was very much a, it was very much the same as what you've learned in terms of letters. Um, this one had a few differences. So you have evidence and evident, which if you see there is the V but underneath the line. I don't know why, I don't know, but it is. Um, the way I learned it was if the E is before the V, the V goes under the line. You've got to learn patterns like that because it, it is like learning another language. It's like in English, you might be like, oh, but I don't learn patterns. How do you say because big elephants can always understand small elephants? You, you, just everyone says it. If you don't say it, then you've probably got another mnemonic and different things. Well, you can't use mnemonics with symbols. So what you've got to do with symbols is learn patterns, learn, learn ways to remember it. Um, so... I don't know, like, you, you just got to come up with your own way. So, like, accident is X. Ax. Ax. That's how I always remember. That's how I always uh, did it. When I was writing it down, I was like, Ax. Ax. And then I knew it was the X because I was making that X sound at the very beginning of accident. So, then you and your. You is just you. And then your is you with a dash. So, your is... You with a dash. That, and it's little patterns like that. And I don't know whether it will work for you. You probably got your different patterns. Same as in English, you'll have your different mnemonics. So that's what I did. I, I learned the patterns and stuff like that. And, you know, you sometimes are actually able to compare it to the actual letter itself. So like R as in A-R-E is very similar to the letter R because they sound the same, so therefore they're both the same in my head, that's how I did it. So, at that stage I was like, right, I'm going to quickly, you know, th th this is working, I'm learning that. So then I tested myself with uh, exercise 1.6, um, which is there. Uh, it's very similar to exercise 1.4. Um, and at that stage, I, I did it all, and I only missed out one, I missed out page. I thought it was please, but it was page. Uh, and that can happen. Don't beat yourself up over it. Um, don't get annoyed. It happens. Um, but I, I was reasonably happy, you know. You, you're getting one wrong. That's fine. If you're getting more than one wrong, go back. Familiarise yourself with the alphabet again. Well, not with the alphabet. With what you've done previously with Exodus 1.5. And then go back to this. Um, and keep doing it until you're happy. If you're not happy, don't move on. And that's fine. If it takes you an extra hour than someone else, it takes you an extra hour than someone else. But that just means that when they trip up later, you won't trip up. And it will be things like that. So you just got to go at your own pace because you can't go too quick. Otherwise, you're not, you're not going to do well. Uh, then again, my dad was available this time. Um, and I got him to write down all of his, all of the words uh, separately again. So begin, began, begun. You know, you could easily, because they sound very similar, you can easily remember that in a pattern. I didn't want to remember it in a pattern. Yes, you've got that pattern to help, but sometimes it helps not to have that pattern. You know, so, sometimes it does. Sometimes it helps to learn it separately. So that's what I did. And I got them all right. Um, and I was, I was happy with that. You know, of course I'm happy with getting them all right. Um, you know, 
And it, again, if you don't get them all right, do it the other way around. Write down all the symbols in a random order and try and work out the words to them. Little, just little things like that. Um, and you, you just keep keep doing it until you're happy. Um, as always, go at your own pace. Then the joining letters, I just wrote them down. Um, you, you join in multiple things. So like in is the I symbol with the N symbol. And it's basically it's just two symbols put together. Um, similar to how in we join letters in English, that's how you can join letters in shorthand. Um, and it's just it's just trying to bridge the gap really uh, and showing you how to join letters. Well, it doesn't show you how to join letters, it shows you what the join letters look like and then tells you to write them out. So I did um, and it was only a small exercise so I wasn't going to drill with these um, and I'm not going to before moving on to unit 2 which I've got next. Um, I wasn't going to do that. Um, for what, for me, it's a small exercise. It's not that big, and it's quite self-explanatory. So I'm going to try and learn. Uh, I'm going to try and just move on. If I struggle, and if I move on to unit two, and I'm struggling, I don't be scared to move back because I'm not going to be scared to do it. So you don't be scared to do it. Move back. You know, it's okay to go back five steps to make to be able to move on it's okay to do that um so yeah the, 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 we finally finished unit uh, well i finally finished unit one um hopefully you guys are doing okay uh with with this if you've got any questions um then please pull it in the comment section down below if you also got any tips or tricks of your own pull them in the comment section down below because there'll be other people trying to work out how to learn it better and if we all put our ideas together then we'll be able to help more people out with this um so yeah um finished unit one really happy with that moving on to unit two which is actually writing in it uh actually writing in t-line so yeah we're interesting to see what uh, happens from here i haven't looked ahead that much but it seems to be jumping up a level uh, the next unit is a massive jump and that's fine um but yeah so please put anything in the comments down be below uh anything you want me to go over in the future a little bit more or maybe you think i need to go over stuff a little bit less uh please put that in the comments down below put your diff your tricks and tips if you have any uh that are different to mine then please put them down in the comment section down below. We all need to help each other out, so please do that. Hit that like button if you like this video and like this series. This is a series that's going to last for a very long time. Um, yeah, it's it's just about my journey, and hopefully I get to help a few people out along the way. Um, so yeah, hit that like button if you like it. Subscribe if you're new here. Um, I'm going to be doing this almost every week, so every time I make some progress. So if you don't want to miss a thing please subscribe. Um, so thank you guys for watching and I shall see you in the next video. See ya!